Hi everyone. This week we're going to cover chapter 9, which is a chapter on adult sexual relationships. And in this chapter, uh, you'll have uh, plenty of opportunity to think about your own life uh, and the relationships in your life. Um, you'll be uh, covering topics such as cohabitation and trends uh, in marriage and trends in cohabitation. You'll also be considering um, the difference between child-free and uh, child-less. And yes, there is a difference. Child-free means that you are voluntarily choosing not to have children, whereas child-less uh, denotes that you would like to biologically bear children and you are not able to. Um, also, taking a look at the divorce rates in the United States, um, I often wonder whether getting married is too easy um, rather than is getting divorced too easy, um, something for you to think about. Um, also, we'll be thinking about dating and the different ways in which people are dating today and how that differs from 45, 50, geez, even 10, 15 years ago. There were not apps such as Tinder and Grindr and Christian singles and farmer singles and there are any number of uh, dating sites out there for people to use as well as apps. Uh, and so certainly dating has changed. In fact, a lot of people don't even call it dating anymore. They just call it um, hanging out. Um, and talking about dating is something maybe that only, quote, old people talk about. So um, also in this chapter, um, you'll be taking a look at the different types of families and comparing heterosexual relationships with same-sex relationships, um, also considering polyamory relationships, people who uh, are in, more than, in a relationship with more than one person. Um, and then differences culturally, uh, across cultures, um, what marriage looks like and what the expectations are uh, for marriage. So this is a really interesting chapter and I hope that it gives you an opportunity to really consider uh, what you would like uh, in your own life. Uh, if you're not currently married, what in the future marriage might hold for you or whether you even want to get married. Um, there are many, many people choosing not to get married today and that's just fine. There's no rule that everyone has to get married. Um, also, I hope you have an opportunity to consider bearing and rearing children or adopting children. Um, there are many, many options today for people who want to rear children, whether biologically or not. Um, and so I hope you just have um, a good opportunity to think about your own life and where some of these, not issues, but choices uh, that you'll have to make if you aren't already married or aren't already in a long-term relationship. Um, that you'll have to make. So I'll see you at the next chapter.